we call home amen. where we honor God we love families we serve others and we pursue excellence amen, amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. We just tell you to prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Today we're going to be talking about praise too. Amen. And uh, praise is awesome. We talked about it last week. We're going to continue to talk about it today. Amen. And praise is a spiritual weapon. But we need to use it and utilize it more because we praise the wrong things before we praise our God. Oh, yes. Amen. We praise the world more than we praise our God. You know, we got to turn that around. Amen. And we got to get off the throne and put him on the throne and praise him. Amen. So praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but uh, grab your Bibles and uh, let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. So here we go. This is my body. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, he's not finished with you. And uh, he just wants to bless you. And he wants to use you. So make yourself available. We talk about this all the time. You have to make yourself available. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Because he is there for us. First of all, as we get going, I just wanted to thank the praise team. Because they have some awesome songs for us. Amen. And well, I'm going to be talking about them in a few minutes. But we're going to be talking about praising him too. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, uh, let me see. One of them was this. Jesus, you know what? Jesus set me free. That's one of the beautiful songs. Jesus set me free. He said, Satan, you have me bound. But guess what? Jesus set me free. So why am I not going to praise him? You know, I want to praise him because I was bound and he had me bound, you know. But guess what? I am free now. Yeah. So if I'm free, I want to praise him. I want to yeah. thank him. You know, yeah. he also says, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in yeah. it. I'm not going to be sad anymore. I'm not bound. You know, the only thing holding me bound is myself and my laziness. You know, I got to get off myself. You know, I got to get off my como se llama and praise him and say, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you have given me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. But I got to do something about it. Jesus, I mean, Satan had me bound. Jesus had me free. I want to thank him. I want to have an attitude of gratitude and thank him for it. Amen. So thank you, praise team. It says, I'm so glad Jesus set me free. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. He said, I'm singing glory. Hallelujah. Why? Because Jesus set me free. Yeah. Amen. And I don't have to go there anymore. I just want to thank him every day and say, thank you for setting me free, Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to continue. Also, another song we sing. Another song, a beautiful song is... He's down on the mountain. And we're going to be talking about that oh, a little more, you know. Yes. Hey, he's down on the mountain when everything's nice and easy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? When you're in the valley, he's also God. Mm -hmm. And you want to praise him. Whether you're up or you're down, still praise him. Amen. Amen. I got a, a nice little, a uh, couple of nice little uh, scripture breaks I want to read to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Let God arise. And you know what you do? You let God arise. You want to praise Him. Amen. It says, let God arise and let His enemies be scattered. You know, when you praise Him, enemy has to flee. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist Him, and He's got to go. <laughs> he can't hang around. You know, He says, uh uh uh. You know what? At one time, Lucifer, an archangel, was in heaven leading the praise and worship. But he wanted to put himself over God. And God oh. says, you're out of here. I mean, he was out of there like lightning. Yeah. You know, he was gone. Let God rise. Let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. He says, be alert and be prepared. The next time Satan comes to you with cares, with fears, with doubt, with unbelief, and condemnations, with distractions, be ready to fight back with the word. Speak yeah. faith-filled words. In him, you are lifted up from your sin. In him you are made to sit yes, in heavenly amen. places. In him you are made the righteousness of God. Lead, let these truths uh, pick you up and lift you amen. up. Amen. Don't be down anymore. If you want to stay down, that's up to you. But he has set us free. 
So we don't have to be down anymore. Amen. The enemies, the attacks will come. Guess what? I am free. Amen. And I'm going to put myself where God wants me. Amen. And I'm going to praise Him. Once you get your understanding of what, of who you are in Christ, your whole life will be changed. That's the right. truth has set you free. So you are to win and not lose. You're a winner, not a loser. See yourself that way. See yourself the way God sees you. He Amen. sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. He sees you an overcomer. You see yourself this way. Amen. Don't be set down. Don't be uh, controlled by what the world says. Right. You know, but be controlled by what the Word of God says. Yes. You know, and be free from that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Set yourself free. You win with Him. Woo, hallelujah. Lord. With Him we win. Without Him, it's hell. Yeah. It's just plain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. You can have that if you want to, but you don't have to. He has set us free. Praise yeah. God. Uh, Psalm 68 and 1 says, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, and let them also that hate him flee before him. Ooh, man, you speak the word, and guess what? The enemies, the enemies got to go. Amen. Darkness has to go because he is our light, and the word is the light. Amen. Here's another one, and I'm gonna. I've got a new name for you, and see yourself the way he sees you. This is mighty warrior. You're a mighty warrior of God, not a warrior, a yes. warrior. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're warring for him. Amen. We're mighty warriors. We are a product of we're not we are a product of our past. We're not products of our past. And we don't want to be prisoners of our past. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's purpose is to uh, not limit you from from your past. He has set us free. God is looking for perfect. He's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Yes, yes. And make yourself available to him. Amen. Amen. Make yourself available to him. He says our Bible heroes use w that he used were not perfect. Yes. Amen. He's turned a murderer named Moses into a leader. A coward named Gideon into a courageous hero. Yes. And he can yes. do amazing things through the rest of your life. All you need to do is surrender yourself yes. to him. Amen. Surrender yourself to him. He's going to take the rest of your life and make it a winning thing. Amen. Amen. Why? Because he's called you and he's equipped you and he wants you to be there for him. Amen. And see yourself the way he sees you. He sees you a winner and that champion. Amen. God has equipped you to win. Yes. This is the hour for the mighty warriors of God to wake up, get up, and press on with Jesus. Amen. Amen. You're a mighty warrior for God. See yourself the way he sees Amen. you. Amen. Amen. And I can do, the Bible says I can do all things, all things. through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Amen. So, Let's keep pressing on, mighty warrior. Here. Amen. Woo, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't you don't have to listen to what the world is saying because the world disqualifies you. The world mm -hmm. calls you things and says things and say you're not you're not good enough. You're not qualified. Mm -hmm. You can't do these things. But wow. we can do the things he's called us to do, and, the, and he says we can do all things through him. So man, we, yeah. let's not forget about him. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise. Keep going. Praise the name. Keep, keep going. <clears throat> There's power in praise. Amen. We're going to be talking about in a few, a few weeks, we're going to be talking about Easter. You know, Easter, the, the, the cross is a sign of victory, not a sign of defeat. Amen. Amen. And you know, they welcome Jesus into Jerusalem, you know, as a king of kings. The next week, they're crucified. And yeah. that's what this is about. There's power in praise. They praise them. Amen. Keep going. Praise. You write this down for yourself. Amen. Yes. Write it down. Keep it somewhere. But it says, Praise is power released as I submit every day. Not once in a while. You know, not just when things are going nice and easy, but all the time. Praise. Praise is power released as I submit every day. Power. There's power in praise. So it's a spiritual weapon. There's power there. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Praise is a weapon against the enemy, not your yes. only enemy. Amen. That's what the Bible says. So don't try to make enemies out of anybody else. Yeah. The <laughs> enemy, Satan, is your only enemy. He said, the Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. And if you're not serving Jesus, you're serving him. That's right. Whether you believe it or not, say, well, I'm just neutral. Well, are you being lukewarm? <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And, and, and you're trying to please the world, you're trying to please God and it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. He says, "I'll spit you out of my mouth first. Yes, yes. I'll vomit you." Mm -hmm. He said, "You either for me or you against me." Right. 
and you're gonna have to receive him you know one day you'll have to uh, stand before him <laughs> so praise God it says some you some show more reverence to the world than to God praise and worship is not just a warm-up for that's church it. service yeah, you know, that's, we, we kind of dissect he says when we enter in the presence of his praise he will enter into your uh, circumstance with power mm -hmm. yes amen but some of us just kind of pick and choose i wrote it here somewhere i'll read it to you in a few minutes but we just kind of dissect mm -hmm. you know praise and worship well i i i i'm that's not for me i don't sing well you know we we, we just kind of well i just come in in certain parts of service you know basically what's going to happen is you're not going to catch anything mm -hmm. it's just going to pass you up yeah and he had a great message for you but it just went by because you was not focused yeah. on what he was saying, amen. And he's going to use mighty people to speak to you. And and you, we have to be, receive this, amen. So praise God. Keep going. Got some good ones here for you, mm -hmm. amen. Just listen to this. Psalms 104 says this. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And also Psalms... Go to the next one. Psalms 118, 24. We just talked about this. But it says, this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. It says, we or Lord. I will, I will. Amen. Make it yourself. I, Jose, will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. When the greater one is with you and he never leaves you nor forsakes you, when the greater one is with you, it doesn't matter what the world brings. Mm -hmm. I'm going right. to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to be glad. Amen. So circumstances. Do not dictate how Amen. I'm going to have served my day Amen. and how I'm going to serve my God. Amen. Amen. Some of us, we, we got to get this straight. Amen. Because we're still on the throne. We got to dethrone ourselves and put God on the throne. Amen. And know that he is God on the mountain and he's God in the valley. Amen. Amen. That's another beautiful song we're going to talk about. And we talked about some last week. But it goes something like this. He says, life is easy when you're up on the mountain. Mm-hmm. And you've got peace of mind mm. like you never know. But when things change when you're down in the valley, no, boy. <laughs> wow. don't lose faith. Mm -hmm. Don't lose faith. That's the thing is you don't want to lose faith that's because it. we're never alone. So yeah. you see yourself, you catch yourself alone. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to isolate you. Mm -hmm. He wants to isolate you and get you away. Mm -hmm. You know, you think it for yourself instead of saying, <laughs> my God is there for me. My God says he'll never leave me nor forsake me. So, you know, no reason for me to feel alone because he is with you right. always. And you can talk to him anytime. Amen. Amen. He never shuts you off. We shut him off. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes we, we just use him as needed. Mm. Amen. On emergency cases, oh, you know. Boy. Ooh, hallelujah, Lord. Yes, I wow. need you again, Lord. Yeah. Help me this time and I promise. Oh, yeah. You know, we make all kinds of prom yeah. promises. Amen. But he says, he's God. He, and God, he says, God on the mountain is still God in the valley. Yeah. Amen. God in the, in the night, he's God in the, in the day. Mm. Amen. He's God for the good and he's God for the, for the bad. He's there for us anytime, all the time. That's he's it. God on the mountain. Amen. And he's God in the, he's still God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make it right. Mm -hmm. And the God of the good times is still God in the bad times. Yeah. Yes. And these things are going to happen. He says, you know what? He says, I've gone through this, but you're going to have tribulations. You're going to have problems. Uh -huh. So know that you can overcome these things. Amen. 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 Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank oh, you, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. So when you're up on the mountain, we, 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 we recognize him. We honor him. We, his love, his uh, blessings, his favor is for us. Amen. We magnify him and not the care, not the problem. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And you know what? When we're down in the valley, we still want to praise him. Why? Because he's there for us. Amen. We're fo we don't focus on the problem. We focus on him. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't have to go through this. Amen. Lord, I just want to praise you. Amen. Just like David, man. I heard you got a big problem in front of him. The giant. And you got problems facing you. Whatever problems you're facing right now, know that God is bigger. 
God is bigger than whatever is coming against you. Yes, amen. amen. We may be going through different things, but still, God is bigger than whatever you may be facing. Mm -hmm. We just got to know to praise Him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Don't pass it up. Let your praise be your spiritual weapon. Yes. Amen. And we're going to be talking and bringing up a little bit. Keep going. We're talking about, listen to this. You can write this down. It says, when you enter God's presence with praise, He enters your circumstances with power. Right. Amen. Not just with tiny something. He enters your circumstances with power. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you submit yourself to God, these, these things have to go. Yes, amen. amen. That's what the word of God says. Woo. So write this down and have it with you, you know, so you can know greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Keep going. Yeah. Man, this is good. There's Paul and Silas. Uh, we talked about Paul and Silas at 1625. This next after this, but it says, Paul and Silas, you know what they're doing? They're bound. I mean, the, the jailer says, I don't want these guys to get away. Right. They got in trouble for delivering a uh, spirit, uh, evil spirit, uh, casting an evil spirit out of, out of this uh, young lady, mm. and they put him way down deep in the dungeon in the in the prison. And, and, and man, <laughs> they're, they're bound, but still, you know what they knew? Says God, the God that delivered us before mm -hmm. is going to deliver us now. Mm -hmm. And their spiritual weapon was what the praise. Yes. Amen. Amen. They can still hold their arms. They can still praise mm -hmm. Him. And you know, and say that neglect well let me let me read it the way i got it here for you but it says keep going one more right there in 1625 it said at midnight paul and silas prayed and sang praises unto god and the prisoners heard him yeah you know i don't know how far Ooh. apart those cells are you know but still <laughs> they were singing loud enough for god to hear uh -huh. the prisoners heard the jailer heard yeah. and god heard amen yeah. when you call on him he hears Yes. Amen. We're the ones that are silent. You know, mm -hmm. we, we're the ones that try to hide. But when they sang praises unto him, God heard. It says, yes. Paul and Silas could have looked only at their bad and, and hopeless situations. Oh, man, look what happened to us. We're trying to do God's work, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and look what happened to us. Mm -hmm. They could be looking at the bad things and have the enemy just focus on the negative things, you know. Yeah. But no, they didn't focus on the negative yes. things. You say, you know what? We're doing God's work. Amen. And we're going to praise him. Thank you, Lord. Man, they was glad even they got beat. Mm. And they got, I mean, they got, they were beat good, okay? Kind of and they were tied up. And they could have been focused on the negative things. What about you? Quit looking at your hopeless situation right. and start singing praises unto right. him. Yeah. He's going to deliver you yeah. from these things. But you know what? You got to give it over to him. Yeah. And you got to start praising the right, yeah. right, the right one. Right. Not this world, but him. Amen. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> Instead, they chose to sing praises. Imagine the impact of the witness they had yes. on the on the prisoners uh, uh, yeah. and the jailer. You know yeah. the jailers. You know. Well, we go. To, we'll, we'll wait to the next one. <laughs> but it, <laughs> you can also have make an impact and be a witness for him as you serve him, as you serve his people. Yes. You're going to serve some people that you may not like. Oh my goodness. And then Jesus did, you know, he came and he was sacrificed not only for the good, but he was sacrificed for the bad. Yeah. 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 Whether you receive him or not, you know, some of you have been running from him too long now. It's time for you to say, yeah. Jesus, I just I just want to thank you. Mm -hmm. I've sinned against you. Come to my life, be my Lord and Savior, and start doing for him now, you know. Mm -hmm. It's never too late. Amen. Amen. You know what? The, pack, the the robber that was crucified with Jesus, mm -hmm. he made his he made his choice right then, yeah. and it was never too late. Jesus says, "Today you'll be with me in paradise." Mm -hmm. He recognized him as a savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. He recognized him right there at the cross, and says, "Today you'll be with me in paradise." Some of you, you know, you may be in your deathbed. You know, you may be whatever you're going through, mm -hmm. but it's time you confess him. And say, Lord, forgive me. And Amen. Lord, forgive you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. He's going to set you free. Amen. Amen. Just like he set us free. Thank you, Lord. So Paul and Silas knew praise was the only weapon. Right. Yep. right. Yep. You need to know. You may not have anything else. You know the prodigal son? <laughs> he started singing praise. He was eating with the pigs, you know. Yeah, I right. said, man, I can go yeah. to the father's house and uh -huh. do better than this. Yeah. Yep. 
And you know what? He came to Father's house. Mm -hmm. And Father saw him and Father greeted him, you know, and, and reinstated him mm -hmm. and put him back. You know, and the son says, oh, you know what? I can just be your servant. I can just do this. Father says, no, you're going to be what I want you to be. He's called to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he equipped you. And he's given you everything that you need to fulfill whatever he called you to do. He didn't put you here to be lazy and do nothing. That's it. Amen. So let's remember this. Then go to the next one. And here it says in uh, Acts 16, 46, it says, uh, King James says, Suddenly, you know how quick suddenly is? Yes. But I was there, Jesus coming back, and it says, In a twinkling of an eye. How fast can you twinkle your eye? Because that's how fast he's going to come. Amen. So don't be thinking about, well, I'll wait till the last minute. Well, the last minute ain't going to be good enough. Amen. <laughs> and it says, and suddenly, there was a greater earthquake. Yes. So that the foundations of the prisons were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bonds or bands loose. were loosed. Amen. Woo. Can you imagine you being a jailer? <laughs> you know what's going to happen? All your prisoners are going to go. Man, he still running and he kneeled in front of him and says, Oh, please forgive me. What can what can I do to get saved? Him and his family were saved. Yes. But they told him they they assured him. He says, You know what? We're all here. We're Nobody, all here. Nobody's gone. Nobody's left. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. Suddenly. Mm -hmm. This one says suddenly there was a great violence, yes. earthquake. Violent earthquake. Mm. That the foundations of the prisons were shaken. Yeah. At once the prison's doors flew open yes, and everyone's is. chains came loose. That's it. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. You know yeah. what? <laughs> Praise is a spiritual weapon That's we need it. against our enemy. He's given us all the weapons with, that we need. That's he supplied it. us with everything that we need to fulfill whatever it is he wants Amen. you to do. Amen. Big or small, it doesn't matter. If you're doing it under him, mm -hmm. he's going to be blessed. And you're going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going. Praise God. Man, these are good. Yes, they are. James 4, 7 and 8 says this. Says, it says, submit yourself therefore to God. You submit yourself to God. You know what? When you, when you submit, <laughs> you praise Him. <laughs> yes. Lord, you praise Him. Mm -hmm. it says, resist the enemy or the devil and he will flee from you. Yes. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse yourself, cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your heart, you double-minded. Amen. Let me read it to you the way I've got it here in the easy to read version. It says, so give yourself to God, sin against the devil. He will run away from you. Come come near to God, and he will come near to you. You are, you're, it says, you are sinners, so clean sin out of your lives. You're trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Make your thinking pure. Amen. Make your thinking pure. And you know where the battlefield is? The mind. So the Bible tells us to renew our minds with the Word of God. Amen. Because the mind is busy. And if you're not thinking positive, you're going to think negative. Yeah. And you're going to start thinking negative and you're going to start confessing negative. And when you confess, you're confessing the wrong things. Amen. Don't confess the wrong things. Renew your mind as, need, as often as needed. Confess your mind to say the right things and not the wrong things. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I want to sow good things and not bad yes. things. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God inhabits, listen, God inhabits the praises. Yes. And the enemy has to flee. Yes. Darkness must depart from the presence of the Amen. light. Amen. God, in, God says God inhabits the praises of his, of his people, you know, and the enemy has to flee. Yes. <laughs> so you don't want you you want to make the devil, I mean God glad and the devil mad. Yeah, yeah. You want to do yeah. you praise God and you know what? You don't make him mad. Mm -hmm. He said, Well, you know what? I'm out of here. Well, good. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Keep praising yes. him, amen. Keep him away. Yes. I mean, you could do this. Amen. Bible says you can do all these things, you know. Yes. So Quit using limits and don't quit let quit limiting God yeah. and quit uh being controlled by what the world says. Or what people say, you know, and say, Well, you know what, you don't sing good, so don't sing. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm singing under my God, whether you like it or not. Right. I'm pleasing him, yeah. not you. Amen. So Amen. I'm not trying to win you, I'm trying to <laughs> praise my God. Amen. Amen. And he likes the way I sing, so 
It, it doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Uh, keep going. Okay, right there. Psalms 34 and 1 says this. I will bless the Lord at some times. No, all times. At all times. His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. mouth. Amen. Yeah. This says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His yeah. praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalms yeah. 34 and 1. Write that down, you know. Write yeah. that down. We, we talked to the... Uh, the Bible study class on Wednesday, you know, we got to take these scriptures and learn one scripture, one scripture at a time. Uh -huh. You know, quit saying, you know, I can't learn all this stuff. Mm. But the Bible says you can do all things yes. through Christ who yes, strengthens us. Yes. Lord, I have, I have the mind yeah, of Christ. Yeah, yeah. I can do all things through Christ. All things. All things. Take one scripture, one scripture at a time and start confessing it. Yes. And then start meditating on it Amen. until you get it in you. He says, when, yes. when your cup is full, it's going to flow over. Yes. And when it flows over, out of your innermost beings, it's going to flow rivers of living water. Man, them scriptures are going to fly out of you, uh -huh. and you're going to surprise yourself. Yes. Say, wow, I can't believe that's coming out of me. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Just what you've been putting in there. The yes. word. So the word is going to come out. Yes. Man, I couldn't wait to learn all them bad words. You know, when uh -huh. I can, when, when, when I learned all those bad words and got them in me you know i i had them in me so much you know mm. every time i spoke bad word come out mm. well now it's time to reverse that yes start yes. confessing the good word amen. amen start getting the word of god in you yes. so that good word the word the spoken yes. word of god is flying yes. from you it's for coming out of you amen yes. not the word is alive and when the word goes it accomplishes what is set out amen yes. amen that's what uh the word of God says, you know, Isaiah 55 11. It goes out and accomplishes what God sets it to do. So the word is gone. The word is out. And I, I want that. I want to speak the right things, yeah. not the bad things. That's it. What power there is in praise, whatever is up on the mountain is down in the valley. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sing praises unto our God. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. We discover his peace in the midst of our trials. Mm -hmm. Let us remember our spiritual weapon yes. of praise. Don't Thank forget it. Amen. Don't forget yes. it. If you don't know what else to say, you yeah. know what? Paul and Silas say, you know what? Instead of being sad and doom and gloom, you know, we're just going to sing praise unto oh, our God. Man. They got evidence. Yeah. He heard and he showed up. They made that was a great earthquake. Woo. Hallelujah. You know what? Don't be surprised. You start singing to him and something happens because he's going to show up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, and his praise is just showing our appreciation, our gratitude yeah. for yes. what he's done. Worshiping is just honoring God for who he is. Right. Man. Can't get no higher than that. That's it. Thank you, Lord. That's it. And gratitude is just being thankful and appreciative. Amen. Amen. God delights in the attitude of our gratitude. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, that's going to make the enemy even matter, you know, yeah. because you're yeah. worshiping God. Yeah. Right. But you know what? If you're not worshiping God, you're worshiping the world. Uh -huh. And if you worship in the world, you're worshiping the enemy. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we gotta get this right. We're gonna magnify our God, not this world. Yes. Amen. Keep going. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I like this. It says the presence of God is greater than the power of our circumstances. Uh -huh. He says, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, did you read that? Mm -hmm. so the presence of God is greater than the power or of our circumstances. Amen. Man, greater is he that's wow. in me yes. than he that's in the world. Whatever's coming against you, I will fear no evil for you are with me. You know, even though I walk through the valley of shadow mm -hmm. of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because I know God is with mm -hmm. me. Amen. Amen. So we got to have that kind of attitude. Yes, we do. Thank you, Lord. We got to be bold. Amen. Yes. He made us to be bold, not just fearful. That's it. That's Amen. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power, a oh, love, oh, and a yeah. sound mind. Amen. Yeah. Let's remember this. Woo. You know, fear is just uh, false evidence appearing real. That's it. You can make anything look real to you. Mm. But no, I'm I, you know, as believers, we walk out in faith, not in fear. Yeah. Yeah. We're stepping out in faith. The more you feed on, on, on the word, you're going to have more faith. Yes. And I'm going to step out because God told me to. I don't know how to do it, but God told me to. 
Yeah. And I'm going to obey what he says yes. for me to do. Let's remember this. Man, you know, oh, well, I don't want to go there. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Second Timothy 1, 1 and 7 says, God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. That's what I just yes. said. And King James says, he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, love and of a sound mind. Amen. So fear is a spirit. Let's yeah. remember this. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. That's it. Amen. So you know what? Uh, you can just stay up. You know what? Fear, you must go. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have you in my life. I'm going to get full of the word of God. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to fill myself with the word of God. And it, I'm going to be filled with faith. With the yes. word. And when I'm filled with the word, I'm filled with faith. Good. And I'm yes. going to step out in faith. And yes. fear has no place in me. No place. It's got to go. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So fear, your spirit of fear, go in Jesus' name. Jesus. Woo, keep going. Yes. This is good. Yes, it is. There's power of praise. Let's remember this. There's power in praise. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a spiritual weapon. He told, he told uh, Joshua. Joshua, great general. He told Joshua. He says, this is the great wall of Jericho. Mm. He said the only way to bring this wall down is yeah. and you know what? Them walls came down when they praised God. They came down. What was impossible for man was possible through God. Yes. Greater is our God than anything else. Amen. Yeah. And them walls came down and they walked in and did what God wanted them to do. Amen. Amen. So whatever walls is holding you back, mm. <laughs> you know what? God is greater. Yes. And you start praising him and them walls have to come down. Yes, they do. Amen. Them doors have to be open. Mm -hmm. Says the, the 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 jail doors to flew open. You know, whatever the doors are holding you back, don't have to hold you back anymore. You start singing praises unto God, you know, and them doors have to open. Amen. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Them doors are not gonna hold you open uh, hold you back anymore. Amen. They're gonna swing open. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Whatever it is, Amen. greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Keep going because there's power in praise. He says, if you don't praise me, mm. he says, these stones are going to praise me. Yes. I don't yeah. want those stones praising him That's for it. me. That's it. Amen. I'm going to praise him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know all you think about what Jesus did. God sent his son, mm. sacrificed his son, and his son gave his life for us. So we can be set free. And all he wants us to do is praise him and to be thankful. Oh man. Don't let that stop you. You know, sing praises unto him. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He says, he says in Luke 19 4, he says, but he says, if they kept quiet, the stones would do it for them. Mm -hmm. Shouting praises. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. If God says so, it's gonna happen. You know. <laughs> Well, if stones can sing and donkeys can talk, you know, <laughs> hey, there's hope for me. <laughs> God wants to use you. You need yes. to make yourself available for God Amen. to use you. Amen. Quit putting yourself and thinking the way the world says that you can and cannot do. God says you can do. Amen. So. Mm -hmm. Be ready and praise yes. him, amen, and go and do what God wants you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. He said, he <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Psalms 150 and 6 says, let everything that has breath praise, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, praise you, the Lord. I, tell, I guarantee you, you know what? Praise. Until he calls you home, you're going to have breath in you. And as long as you got breath in you, praise him. Amen. He's talking to you. He's talking to every one of us. Yes. Amen. A child of God. So, whoo, hallelujah. Keep going. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep, right. keep going. Pass that one. Right there. Mm. John 4, 23 and 24 says this. New Living Translation. But the time is coming indeed. It's here now. <laughs> when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship Him that way. Yes. For God is spirit, and those that worship Him must worship, worship Him in spirit, spirit and, and in truth. Amen. 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 So, you know, He's looking for it. And you know what? I'm not going to hold back. Mm -hmm. So don't you hold back. 
You know, yeah. the, the world doesn't hold back for anything. No. So we don't have to hold back for him, you know. Hey, I'm not going to be ashamed to say, Jesus is my Savior. Amen. I'm not going to be afraid to, to, to praise him. I'm going to praise him. Praise God. And he's looking yeah. for, for his praise. And I'm going to give it to him. So you can do the same thing. Yes. Keep going. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. There you go. Right there. First Corinthians 5, chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. It says, first Thessalonians. First, excuse me, First Thessalonians 5, <laughs> chapter 5, verse 16 and 18. It says, always be joyful, uh -huh. not just sometimes. You know, when you have the greater one in you, you're going to be joyful. Yeah. Amen. Don't let the things of the world or distractions or the enemy or whoever the enemy is using to hold you back. It says, always be joyful. Yes. Always keep on praying. Bible says in King James, pray without ceasing. No matter what happens, always be thankful for this is God's will for you yes. who belong to Christ Jesus. This one says rejoice always, pray continually, yes. give thanks in all circumstances. Yes. And those circumstances are going to come. Tribulations yes. are going to come. Yes. Troubles are going to come. Problems yes. are going to come. But it says give thanks in all circumstances all for all this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So let's remember this. Amen. You know, stay in the word. Mm -hmm. Stay in the word. The Bible says uh, to, if you, uh, oh, uh, stay, stay in the word, you know, and, and, and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Because your flesh is wanting to do the wrong things. So we got to renew our minds with the word of God so we don't give in. Amen. Amen. So we can stay focused on what God wants us to do. Yes, yes. Amen. Ooh, praise God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It, here it is right here. It says, uh, Hebrews 13 and 5 says, Therefore, by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to him. You know, he calls it a fruit. The fruit of our lips. It's the same praises unto him. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah, man. I, 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 I love that. There we go right there. You see them? See them? They're happy. <laughs> They're all excited. Uh -huh. We need to do the same thing. You know, so, you know, yeah. we don't want to be doom and gloom, you know, because Jesus went to the cross. No. You know, he's not sacrificed. He's not on the cross. He came off the cross. Yes. Yeah. And then he Ooh. goes to heaven. Lord, he's seated Lord. at the right hand of the Father. Yes. And he's seated for us. Yes. You know, so it's not a place of defeat. It's a, it's a, it's a sign of victory. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. And you know, we can be happy about it. It says, by him, therefore, let us continually, continually. offer the sacrifice yes. of praise to God. Yes. That is the fruit of our, of our lips. lips. Amen. Yes. What can I do? You know what? We let all kinds of things come out of these lips. Oh. Amen. We just got to be careful. We, we got to rejoice and be glad and offer yes. him praise with these fruit of our lips. Yes. Thank Amen. You, Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Amen. So we got to speak the right things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and let those right things come out of yes. your mouth. Amen. The fruit Amen. of your lips says giving thanks to his name. Yes. Hebrews 13 and 15. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You Thank know, you Hebrews 13 and 5 says that he never leaves you nor forsake mm -hmm. you. Right. And he's always there. You know what? So you want to sing praises on him all the time because he's all with you. Yes. He's not going to leave you. Thank you, Lord. So whether you're up or you're down, uh -huh. still, he's, he hasn't left you. Amen. You know, you be around people, mm -hmm. and people are going to leave you. Hey, as long as you've got some, whatever, money, finances, mm -hmm. uh, uh, drugs, mm -hmm. alcohol, they're going to hang out with you, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Just let that go, and guess what? Uh -huh. They're no longer here no more. That's right. <laughs> they're gone. That's it. They're Amen. Gone. But he's always with us, you know, so we yes. can sing praise unto him. Amen. That's what he wants to hear, and that's not hard for me to do. That's it's just saying praises unto him. Amen. And we can do this because he says we can do all, all these things. Amen. Right. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Says so some of us have never, well, let me see. Some of us have never been taught about praise and worship. It's time that we do. Yes. It's time that we learn 
to praise him and worship him amen mm -hmm. we, don't, uh, we talked about uh, some of this says don't be just a spectator mm -hmm. amen be a participator yes. and you want to participate hey yes. from the time you come from the time you leave home to the time you get to this meeting mm -hmm. this is where we assemble ourselves together yeah. And you know, as we assemble ourselves together, we're going to lift one another up and encourage one another. But then again, we come together as a group, yes. as a body of Christ, mm -hmm. and worship our God. Yeah. Amen. And Thank worship Lord. our God and participate in it. Yes. Don't mm -hmm. don't just spectate and say, well, you know, uh, uh, I want to see, is this the place I want to come, you know, mm -hmm. and I uh, see what people are doing, you know. Well, you're seeing the wrong things. Yeah. And you see it in the flesh. Yeah. And people are not dressed the way oh, you want them to be dressed. All they're not right. saying the things you want to see. Mm -hmm. Or they're not doing the things you want to do. Mm -hmm. But you know what they're doing? They're worshiping God. Yes. Right. And you're going to miss out on it. Mm -hmm. Because you're dissecting mm -hmm. service. Amen. Because you, 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 you're looking. And you're just an onlooker. And you're just watching and you're judging instead of participating yeah. and getting in. You know, I'm going to get so involved and so deep into it. You know, I'm going to shut my eyes and I'm just going to focus on my God. Amen. And thank him and be glad yes. and just sing praises unto him regardless of what else is going on. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. <laughs> If you lift your hands, you clap your hands, you bow, or you kneel, or you dance, it's okay. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks and gives scripture about each one of these. Mm -hmm. Some, listen, this is what I was looking for. Some of us skip certain parts of service. Some, <laughs> some dissect right. service. Some spectate All or right. separate. Some divide. Yeah. Some judge. Some critique. Oh my goodness. Amen. Parts of Lord church God. service. And some choose different denominations by tradition. We've always been this. We've always been this way, okay? Oh, or by one that does not uh, mm -hmm. offend us, or right. one that does not challenge us. Oh, or or <coughs> I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be changed. <laughs> Amen. So we got to be careful not to fall into this category. That's it. Okay? That's it. We don't want to do this. We want to participate. That, mean, that means I'm, I'm getting in all hands and foot. You know, yes. you dive in. Right. You just don't, you just don't put your toe in, you know, yes. and see if the water is nice and, and warm, on, you know. We just jump in. Yes. Amen. You know, when Jesus went to the cross, he just didn't say, well, maybe right. I'll try it, you know. <laughs> he just jumped in, man. He yeah. was beaten. He took those stripes. Yes. He went oh, there. He was humiliated. Right. Okay. And he did it. We need to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We just need to dive in. So yes. I'm going to do this under you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. And you know what? Let's quit pretending. We're not okay. pretenders. Come We're on. participators. All right. Amen. Good. So let's 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 remember this. Woo. Hallelujah. Right. Like uh, Psalms 104 again says. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Yeah. Into his courts with praise. praise. Sing, sing, sing praises unto him yes. and bless his name. Amen. Be thankful yes. unto him and bless thankful. his name. Yes. Amen. It says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. And you know what? He's going to be happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be happy. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's going he's to bless you. Yes. And he's going to promote you. And he's going to put you in places Amen. that you need to be. Yes. I don't have to look to the world. Yes. He's already blessed me. And he's going to put me and bless me where I need to be. Yes, Woo, hallelujah. Did God. you get something? Yes. <laughs> it blessed me. Praise I hope it blessed you. Amen. You. But we need to uh, enter in and learn to praise him. Amen. We need to praise him. Quit, quit, holding, yes. quit holding back. Amen. He didn't hold back when he went to the cross. No, he didn't. You know, when God sent his son, mm -hmm. he sent his son. Yes, he did. Amen. And Jesus doesn't hold back. That's it. You know, there are all kinds of problems he went through. And I'm sure that he went to the Father each and every day. He said, Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could do this. I need your strength. That's just him and, 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 and the Father and the Son. So we need to do the same thing. Yes. Lord, I can do all things through you. I need your strength. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to praise you for it. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So those of you watching, those of you listening. Quit running. All you yep. need to do is just 
say, Lord, I sin against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's going to come in. And he's going to be your Lord and Savior. Yes. And it's time for you to get filled with the word. Start meditating on the word. And you know what? Learn the word. Amen. And get to a Bible-based church where you, they can teach you the word. Yes. Amen. And learn to praise him. Amen. Learn to praise him. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And if you have sickness in your body, I do this each and every day. Say, Lord, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Mm -hmm. And I speak to myself and I speak to this body and I tell my body, line up with the word of God. Amen. I receive no malfunctions in my body. Thank you, I thank you, Lord, that every part of me, inside and out, Amen. functions the way Amen. you created it to function. You, so I speak healing in my body in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. So you receive your healing in Jesus' yes. name. You got to receive it. He's giving it to us. So we got to receive it. Yeah. I receive my yeah. healing now in Jesus' name. Praise Amen. God. So you receive your healing. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. So it's time to give. Amen. Go to our website. It should be on the screen. NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God.